All right, let's take a look here at learning target three, where we wanna be able to calculate the net force of a free body diagram by looking at the arrows, looking at the values, and then using that net force to figure out some info about the motion of that object. So um, we're gonna start up here with a couple examples. Um, as we look at these examples, we always wanna start by thinking about what do we know about the direction of those arrows or the forces. That's really where we wanna start. Okay, there's two options here. Um, we can of course see those forces going in the same direction or we can see those forces going in opposite directions. Depending on what the arrows are doing, we will do a different form of calculation. You might remember from the notes when the forces are going in the same direction, that is when we want to add them together. So the example from the notes was like the horses pulling that cart, right? Each horse was pulling with a certain amount of newtons because they were all pulling the cart in the same direction. We then would add them up to figure out the total or the net force. Here, when they're going opposite directions, I now want to subtract. And the example there was like the tug of war game. So here, maybe I had, you know, my peeps on either side of the tug of war. They're each pulling with um, their own amount of force. So by subtracting them, I can essentially figure out the difference between the two um, to get my net force. So that's the first thing I want to do, look at the direction of the forces. Once I have the direction figured out, and whether I'm going to add or subtract, then I do the calculation. And I'm going to solve. And then the third piece is then figuring out the direction that object is moving, if at all. Okay? And so we'll see what happens when we get there. So here's our three examples we're going to go through today. Um, this one here, we're going to start out with. So, oh, let's get our directions in here. So the first thing we want to do is look at the direction of the forces, same or opposite. So if you want to try to solve this on your own, now would be a good time to pause and then check back here in a minute. So we've got the forces going in opposite directions. To calculate, I am then going to subtract. So I'm going to take my biggest value minus my smallest value and do that calculation to get me a total net force of 50 newtons. So that is my net force, the total forces acting on the object. Finally, I need to know the direction this object is moving. We know it is moving because I'm looking at the arrows. They are unbalanced, so that means uneven forces. There's got to be some sort of motion happening. And so the direction the object is going is to the right. And that's because my 60 over here is the bigger force, or essentially the winning force, right? That's where the biggest force is taking place, so the object's going to be moving that direction. Here's my second one. Again, direction of the forces. I'm noticing they're again opposite, so I will subtract once more. Biggest minus the smallest. Calculating out gives me a net force of 10 newtons. When I'm thinking about the direction, Again, I'm looking for the larger or the winning force. In this example, it will then be down. Cool. So like this particular object, this free body diagram, might be something like uh, a football coming down from a punt or a leaf falling down through the air. So gravity is pulling it downward, and because it's falling, I have air resistance pushing back up. So that's kind of applying all of our stuff together here. My third example is a little more detailed. Now we have four arrows. 
Okay, so I notice none of them are going in the same direction, so that's good. I'm still going to be subtracting, but how do I know which ones to subtract? So I always like to stick, again, with the opposites, okay, so the pairs. So we've got one pair here, up and down, and then a second pair here, well, um, the left to the right. Okay, so it really doesn't matter which one you want to start with. If you want to try it on your own, go ahead and pause it. Um, otherwise, to solve, we're going to, like we said, we're going to do the exact same thing. We just have a little extra to do. So here, um, starting with the up versus down, I'm going to do the same thing, right? You know, big minus small doesn't really count this time, but I'm still doing one arrow minus the other. Um, and I'm getting a net force now of zero newtons. So with those two, the total force is zero. So when I think about the direction, you know, neither one of these is the winning force or the bigger force. So this particular pair of forces has no direction. I cannot um, give a specific direction here of either up or down. Okay, so essentially those two just cancel each other out. They are not impacting the motion of the object. Now, I'm looking at the left versus right, and I'm going to do again our big minus small to give me a total of 45 newtons. And again, the direction. Now I should be able to do big minus small, or excuse me, um, tell the winning force for the direction. So that will then be to the right. So now I have two pairs of information about this object. Again, this up-down section really isn't having any impact on the object's motion. So this essentially, like we said, cancels out, goes away, and my net force for this particular object would be 45 to the right. So this might be like if you're moving, you know, pushing a box um, across the floor, or like me, I move the desks around sometimes. So I'm moving the desks, gravity is pulling the desk down, normal from the floor is keeping the desk here on earth, right? I'm pushing with the force of 50 newtons and the carpet I'm pushing across is slowing me down a little bit. So that would be kind of where we're thinking. So all of that now we're applying to our third learning target. So you get to come up with these values, taking notice of the arrows so you know which ones are big versus small. You're going to do your own calculation for net force and direction. And then this how was it determined, you know, that's kind of like you giving our play-by-play -play of how we figure this out. Direction, same or opposite, add or subtract, calculate, solve, and then direction. So this little word bank over here, remember, these are our must-use words. So those have to get used in our explanation down here. And as you use them, we want to highlight them or give them some sort of color so that we start connecting those keywords to this learning target, but then also so Ms. Chumley can see them a little bit better. As always, reach out with additional questions, either general or specific. You know I'm here to help.